Hello. Sorry for the poor video quality. I realize I should probably get better lighting for these things, but it's not a priority right now. Just want to get on here and uh, before I finish up my packing, get this video done for today. I um, forget what number we're on. Eight or nine, maybe? I think eight. Anyway, uh, yeah, so um, today my meditation center session was really short. And so I think tomorrow what I'm going to try is um, there's a little space outside in my landlord's, um, on her property, on their property. And I think I'm going to use that space. It's, it's like a meditative little space anyway. I think I'm going to use that. I think I do well with like having a setup like that, having a space that's sort of dedicated to it versus literally sitting where I'm sitting right now, which is also like my internet space, which is also my, um, you know, my everything. I do everything on this, on this little couch. So, um, cause I live in a tiny home. So, um, I think I'm going to try that tomorrow morning. And then, um, as I stated in a previous video, uh, this weekend I'm heading out. So I'm actually leaving tomorrow to go to a human awareness Institute workshop. So I'll be going to that and, um, I will be out of cell range. Um, there's no cell service or internet up there. Um, it's in California. So I, um, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to post on Friday before I go. And then Saturday and Sunday, I either won't have a post or I'll, I'll probably, what I'll do is I'll record. I'll bring my laptop. I'll record, but I just won't be able to post it until probably Sunday night. So, um, so yeah, so that's just a heads up about that. I'm still committed to doing these 100 days of video, even though sometimes I feel a little bit topicless, uh, like I do right now. And, um, yeah, so today I guess, let's see, um, you know, I was listening to some inspiring TED Talks, um, earlier today while I was cleaning and unpacking, and, um, one of them was Bren Brown, or Brene, I think he used to just say Bren Brown, um, she's famous, uh, it's, I just don't know how to say her name. Uh, she's really funny, um, as well as Sir Ken Robinson, which if you haven't heard any of his stuff, I highly recommend. If you just go to TED Talks, like Google TED Talks, um, they're like in the top, like, 10, like, most watched TED Talks or something. They're really inspiring. And Sir Ken Robinson is really funny, too. Um, so he's, like, entertaining to watch. But, um, but yeah, I didn't really walk away with any... Again, I'm yawning. I wasn't yawning prior to the video. Um, but I, uh, yeah, I didn't glean anything that inspired me to, um, to mention it, but I do love just always trying to access my brain and utilize my brain. Like, this is kind of funny, but I'm packing for my trip this weekend and I have these, um, these old books, um, logic problems. I don't know if you've ever done these types of things. These are super old. I got these um, in the UK when I was a kid, probably. Seriously, and the pages are all like, are like you know different. Like you can't really see it in the video, but they're like they used to be white. <laughs> now they're not. Anyway, I have that for the plane ride. But um, I love engaging my brain whenever I possibly can. Um, today I felt like I wasn't absorbing it <laughs> as much. And that might be because I have a lot of other things going on in my brain right now. So and that's probably why my meditation session was a little short. So that's okay. It is what it is. Um, I'm looking forward to my videos after this workshop this weekend um, because I know that I'll be really inspired and um, it'll help me dive into even what I like, I think it'll help me dive into more what my heart-centered purpose is in life. Um, I, as I've mentioned in past videos, I, I'm working part-time, um, for this company that I, I do really believe in their mission and their values. And I, and, um, I just started, so the work that I do is, um, minimal right now, but it will ramp up. But I know after this weekend, I'll come back and I'll have like all these amazing ideas on, um, probably it'll look like a, um, a workshop. Like I, I think I want to run a workshop because after the last level three that I went to, um, high workshop, human awareness Institute, I had all these ideas for a workshop I wanted to run. And then it was also at the time when I was like moving, um, 
quitting my job, getting divorced, like doing all this stuff. So it was sort of like I had a million things going on. And so not only did some of those ideas sort of leave my brain, but also the inspiration. So I'm looking forward to, um, gosh, if I were you, I'd be like, why is she yawning? I'm bored. I'm leaving this. I'm not watching this anymore. Sorry about that. Um, maybe I'm just not breathing. Maybe I need to sit up better. <laughs> um, anyway, so I'm, I'm looking forward to this workshop for getting some inspiring information um, and some new insight to myself because essentially I feel like the whole purpose of life is really just uh, dive deeper into knowing ourselves and being the best human that we can. Um, cause we're the person that we have to spend the rest of our lives with, no matter what that is a for sure given. And so, um, I believe that personal growth is, um, the cornerstone to our happiness. I believe, um, that once I started focusing on my own personal growth versus trying to control my outside surroundings or trying to control other people's reactions or trying to basically control anything that wasn't within my own head or my own heart, my own body. Um, it always ended up in, um, either unhappiness or just discontent or fighting or some, just something negative in some way. Like it just never aligned with who I wanted to be on a deeper level. And once I started, um, I think my first, I don't know what my first personal growth workshop was specifically. Um, but I, I mean, I, when I worked in higher ed for 10 years, I, I was engaged in trainings and workshops that definitely accessed, um, you know, my higher self and forced me to, uh, think more deeply about who I was in the world and who, um, as well as like the privilege that I had and, um, the issues that we face in the world and that kind of started that whole process. And then, um, the past several years I've started purposefully, well, not that that wasn't purposeful before, but I guess I started, um, seeking out like different types of personal growth workshops because usually those ones were centered around higher ed. Cause that's what I was doing at the time. I was working at colleges and universities across the country, um, working in student leadership. And so, um, my first experience with that was life coaching when I got my life coaching certification. Um, and that just kind of blew my mind as to how much, um, how much I can help people one-on-one -on -one because I'd always had a job where I, I had to help, you know, like hundreds and hundreds of people. And so I could never really put my full energy and attention into just one person. And life coaching was just sort of a mind blow for me. Like, wow, I can, I can, focus on just one person. It felt like a huge weight was lifted. Um, when I learned that you can make a career doing that too and not getting underpaid to try to make hundreds of people happy. And then also dealing with bureaucracy and, um, and yeah. So I just, anyway, that was kind of my first eye opening, um, aha moment. And then that's when I, soon after that, I, um, I quit my job. Um, and I, uh, started working in the nonprofit sector and jo joined Peace Corps and wasn't there very long if you watched one of my past videos. Um, and then, you know, I've now, since then I've done, um, and this is not to, um, like toot my own horn or anything, but I want to share these experiences with you in case any of them entice you or you're interested or if you have questions about any of them. Um, I would never... I would never say to someone, you should do this. Well, I have done that. I have said to people, you should do this. But I really feel like I know that I was ready when I was ready. And I people had shared stuff with me many times. And when it, finally, when, when it was finally ready for me, I knew because that's when I would sign up. Um, but I did the 10-day silent meditation retreats. And I did a sit and serve in Germany. And um, I went to Esalen which is, um, in Big Sur, California. And they have amazing retreats. If you can ever get there, I highly recommend it. Um, may not be around for much longer with all the mudslides and, you know, everything that's happening in the California coast. But, um, went to a Byron Kitty workshop there and a shaman workshop there. And then I did 
Byron Katie's 10 day school for the work in Ojai, California, Southern California. Um, that really changed the way that I view my own happiness and my own situations and problems. And, um, also how I coach people to work through obstacles. Um, and her stuff's called the work.com and it's all free online. Um, for me to really grasp it, I had to go to a workshop. So I, so I recommend that if you are thinking about it. Um, and, um, yeah, just lots of human awareness Institute. Um, I mean, I guess everything in some ways is like a self growth opportunity. If you, if you are open to learning, right. So even going to festivals or hanging out with friends or conversations with strangers, <laughs> I mean, any of that could be self growth if you, uh, if you're open to it. But, uh, yeah. So anyway, I'm really looking forward to the workshop this weekend and, um, you'll have to tell me if you notice, uh, I'm sure my excitement levels would be much higher and um, I look forward to sharing what I've learned or uh, about myself and um, maybe what I want to bring to the world. <laughs> that was a nervous laughter. Did you hear that? <laughs> All right. Anyway, that's my video for today and um, I'll talk to you again tomorrow, probably after a very long six and a half hour car drive um, and maybe before or after a flight. <laughs> All right. Bye.